I'm like feeling under the weather, but it's, it's been raining quite often the past few days. It's like on and off, so I feel like I got sick from heading to the gym in the pouring rain. So yeah, let me plug my mic. But hi everyone, welcome to another reflection video. We are talking about eight months in the Netherlands. It's been eight eight months, so it's been past six months of living here. So I'm super excited just to give you guys just a rundown about my time here, just my experiences. So yeah. So first things first, happy Pride. I know in America, um, a lot of people are celebrating Pride, a lot of cities are. So I've been seeing all the videos, I've been seeing all the clips, I've been seeing all my friends and acquaintances that are going to the Pride events in Boston, New York, and all that jazz. But Pride is actually coming to my city, so I'm super excel excited to celebrate Pride in Groningen. I know Amsterdam is very known for their Pride event, but that is actually happening in August. So I'm going to start off by seeing Choice of On and that will be a whole different video because I'm going to be heading back to Amsterdam. So I'm excited for that. I mean, I don't know what to expect, but I like how some of the movie theaters are hosting LGBT films and I have a subscription for the movies. So I get to see them and then, yeah, it's always fun to go to the movies. And yeah, so it's, here's the thing about living in the Netherlands. The weather is like unpredictable. As you can tell, like my short rant earlier, I got a little bit sick, but the weather has been so bad. Like the on Monday and Tuesday of last week, it literally rained for 24 hours straight well so then 48 hours straight so and it didn't even feel like summer and we're not really technically summer yet but we're a few days before summer but it feels like spring like it's just ringing it's cloudy it's not very hot anymore to wear shorts and i feel like the last time i recorded this video it was so nice out that i could wear shorts but yeah so that's a big difference and let's talk about something else so my cousin actually came to visit Amsterdam for work so it was actually really nice to see family and actually spent time catching up and also catching up with family and also him himself and all his goals because I believe the last time I saw him was before I moved here so it's been eight months at least since I to hang out with him and have a one-on-one -on -one. so it's really nice to show him basically my new country and culture so yeah but here's the thing going when we went to amsterdam we went to a networking event and also we went out and i just wanted to say well first of all as you can tell i don't really live in Amsterdam and I think after not living in Amsterdam or visiting Amsterdam in a while but every time I go back to Amsterdam it feels like I'm going to New York City and if you know me personally I am a hundred percent not into New York City so I do not like the a lot of tourists a lot of crowding around it was just very busy and nothing's wrong with that you know get the tourism rates but it was like something that I was like not used to because I don't really live in that high bustling culture city life so yeah but I just wanted to talk about the people I met in the networking event it made me realize that I have a good nature a good personality and as you could tell in my previous videos I was in such a runt like i was pretty unconfident with myself but i realized there was a lot of the reason that caused that external uh, that behavior is external factors that i couldn't control for example as you watch my saint martin videos you know 
losing my job and also the weather has deeply affected my mood but i realized that i cannot let those factors control myself and also stop me from getting or being interested in all these opportunities to meet people so that could be a club or that could be etc could be at a networking thing in my city so yeah and even if in that networking time period you know i was still actively looking for a work but you know i still had that spunk so it showed you well showed me that you know personality is not tied to what you do so yeah something i noticed in my eight months and i noticed it previously but it was very emphasized is community is very important so i've been starting so it's actually recently trying to be active to find my community here so i just go to things that i was interested in so i run around in the morning i go to the movies i go to the museums i search up if there's any expat events at like a local bar or a club and just trying to find some friends and community and it's interesting that it took me eight months to be curious to delve into that situation but it's never too late so yeah and i've noticed that when you're young and when i talk to my friends in different cities and different stages in life it's very easy to co- to find community when you're going to school or work that is in person because you guys are forced together um and like you inevitably became friends or not become friends because of the situation so as someone who is gonna work remotely and not going to school for a bit it's it's a lot harder but it's not impossible so yeah yeah and i wanted to go back on the idea of homesickness i talked about in the previous videos i do miss home and all that stuff but i realized i just miss the people i miss the friends and the family in austin in new york in america but i just don't really care about boston like i actually enjoy living in the netherlands and what they have to offer so yeah why is it tackle homesickness again because I think after a couple of months it become such more an important topic to talk about especially in your first year of moving to a different country and lastly I'm gonna keep this short because I'm gonna be honest I am so surprised it already reached eight months like it went by so like I can't believe it's been a month since I recorded the other video so yeah so that means it's been a while since I've been to St. Martin and it's been longer it's been a while since I've seen my family so yeah oh I, and lastly I wanted to talk about this the glamour of like living in the Netherlands is gone I think when I hang out with my cousin and his co-worker they are, were so excited about the architecture, the museums, and just like the people. But now that you live here for a while, you're like, okay, so the people that, you know, they're interested in are just my regular neighbors, the churches that they want to go see, and the museums. Like, there's so many museums in the Netherlands, so that's something to keep in mind if you want to visit. And also, all the nice looking churches and buildings. I'm like, that's just your neighbor. That's the neighbor church. That could be even Albert Hine. <laughs> so, yeah. The glamour is gone. However, I still like being in the Netherlands. I am very grateful for this experience. And yeah, with that being said, 
I can't believe it's been eight months, but I hope like Jonah in the future could see that Jonah has grown from the first month there to here, all that jazz. All right. Bye, everyone.